everybody that's out there, I, sh I know that there's a ton of you that do nothing but make cheese boards. <laughs> Everywhere we go, it's like, who's bringing the cheese board? The cheese board is the most important thing. Um, and, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Of course, we're gonna talk about cheese boards, charcuterie boards, whatever you wanna call them, uh, you know, game day snacks and stuff like that. And I will apologize for the sound today. My mics aren't working, so we're just using the, the speaker on the phone. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm sure you'll put that in the comments. Um, anyway, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, a charcuterie board, a cheese board, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna air fry uh, Wisconsin cheese curds. We're gonna air fry some pickles, and we're gonna air fry some mushrooms, and we're gonna incorporate those into the charcuterie board, into the cheese board. We're gonna make a, a fun little sauce for dipping, and the sauce will be for It'll be just as good for the fried food as it's going to be for the cheeses and stuff like that, which is cool. All right, so what kind of dipping um, are we gonna do today? All right, we're gonna do the classic. We're gonna do the dry, wet, dry. So Max, come here. So this is just a flour, flour okay? And in this, I just put salt and pepper, that's it. I, I didn't go crazy. Of course, this is just my egg mixture. It's just beaten eggs. Um, now this is panko. Uh, you can use whatever breadcrumbs you like. I pick panko, and then I, and to that I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese, uh, just to kind of give it a little extra charcuterie fried taste. If that's if that's even a thing. Well, it's a thing now, right? Because that's what we're doing. So we're just going to mix the cheese into the panko. Uh, you can season it even further if you like. It's up to you but I thought we would just kind of keep this part pretty simple. It's okay if there's some chunks of cheese in there, it's fine. We just want to get a nice cheesy flavor. All right, so everything that we're air frying today is very small. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna use uh, these toothpicks because I think it's easier to do it that way. You know, if you have big chicken cutlets or pork chops or something, you don't, you know, use a tongue or forks or something, but I think this is a pretty easy method. So I, uh, oops, all right, hold on. I'm I, I, usually I can talk and do at the same time. Today, apparently I can't. So we're going dry, put it in the flour and then knock some of it off. And then we go wet. You just wanna mix it in there like that, drip off the excess and then drop it right into our panko like that. Give it a second. And then that's all you got to do. And then what I do is I put it, I just have these little pans. You can just put it on a sheet, whatever. And then I just pull it off the toothpick just like that. And then I keep going. And we'll do them with the pickle now. You'll see these are not the pickles that I actually use. I ran out of those. But I have these little cornchions. These are my absolute favorite things for a charcuterie board. Uh, they, they just call them cornchions. It's, it's sort of like a dill pickle, but it has a bit of a sweetness to it. And you do that the same way. Now, if I, I was running a little late today and I was gonna make a Bloody Mary because I wanted to use these pickles and um, I wanted to use the cheese curds and the mushrooms to make a really cool um, Bloody Mary, but I didn't have time. Anyway, so this is what it looks like when you do the pickle. And then again, that goes into the egg mixture and I just run it back and forth like that. And then again, into my panko. Give it a shake, give it a second, and then that's it. And then I just pop it right onto my tray, just like that. So I think the toothpicks are a great way to go. And I'm not gonna bore you, because the mushroom, it's the same thing. You go dry, you go wet, and you go dry. <laughs> that's it. I have one done right here, that's what it looks like. Um, so you can use any pickle. You can see uh, I used these, uh, th these were just regular dill pickles, and I cut them into what we call nickels, right, Max? We call them pickle nickels. <laughs> Fried pickle nickels, I don't know where that came from. Um, I think maybe Red Robin calls them that? Yes. Yeah, so I just kind of ripped that off from them because I like the way that sounds. But again, I, those are what I fried in here. Um, that's what it looks like before they go in. And then we'll talk about what they look like when they come out in a second, I'm just gonna clear the deck because what I would like to do now is make a sauce. 
So Max, does somebody have a question? I saw you looking at the iPad. Uh, yes, uh, Mary Anton says, uh, can you bread ahead of time? Yeah, so I'm glad you asked that. So what you can do and what you should do is you should bread everything and then throw it in the fridge. Now, I, I put it in the fridge for, you wanna go at least 10 minutes, but you can go longer than that. You could actually drop them in the freezer if you wanted to, and then you could take them out at your leisure. So hopefully that answers your question, but you could leave them in the fridge for probably like an hour or two, uh, no problem at all. Uh, what I like to do, and what I did today, is I actually pre-fried them. So I kind of like made them all like about noon, and then, because I knew you know we were gonna do live today at four o'clock. So I did them all around noon and then I just kept them nice and dry. I left them right in the air fryer for a little while. And then when we start the show, about five minutes ahead of time, I heated them all up. So you can do it that way too. So um, now I'm gonna make the sauce. The sauce is super simple, but it's great for cheese. And it's great for anything really. Like you're gonna see, we have the pickles, the cheese curds, everything. So we have, um, just a mayo base. Now I'm using Dijon mustard. Use your favorite mustard. Not too much, but mustard and cheese. Really nothing goes better except mustard and pretzels maybe, or mustard and hot dogs. And then uh, we're gonna put some hot sauce in. This is Max's favorite brand. If I get anything other than that, he gets mad at me. And uh, I don't know why we always, we always get this brand. And then we're gonna put a little, a little garlic in, like that. And really that's all you need for the sauce. And we mix it up. So it's a little heat, you got the, the big flavor of the mustard, and then the mayo is just a great delivery system. It's great for dipping and all that stuff. All right. So that's it. So Max, who, who else is, what, what else is going on out there before I kind of make the big reveal? Um. <laughs> Um, Bowie Bot says, Eric, your biggest fans are on YouTube. Oh, I thanks um, YouTube. Yeah, I love YouTube and I'm um, getting more used to YouTube every day. Uh, Nancy Baker says she's watching from Mobile, Alabama. Oh, hey, Nancy Baker. How you doing? Nancy's always with us. Uh, and um, the, power, the Power XL, can you fry pickles, says non-social one. Can you fry pickles? Yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna show you them right now, actually. So here, let me let me show you what's going on in here. Do you need those glasses? <laughs> uh, sh they're kind of messed up. All right, so this is what they look like when they're all fried. Now, I chose the PowerXL Air Fryer Pro because it has three racks, and I knew I was doing three different things. You can see I have my cheese curds on top, I have my mushrooms in here. Now. Don't be afraid to put different things in at different times. So, you know, if you want to do the cheese curds for four minutes, but you want to do these for eight, put the mushrooms in for eight and then pop the cheese curds in at the last four minutes. That's, that's how you do it. But this is what everything looks like when it's done. These are cool, you guys. So uh, customer service, don't get mad at me. Now, what I did here is I made my, just a little charcuterie board. We're not having any guests tonight, unfortunately. Well, maybe we will now that I said that, we'll get, we, we used to call it a Jersey drop-in. Maybe we'll get a Jersey drop-in because I have this sugar board and no one to share it with. But um, I just made it as, as you normally would. Of course, I have uh, four cheeses. I got a Comte, a Gouda. I have a, a, a soft, mild brie. And then I have a really powerful blue cheese right here. And then I love figs and, you know, just the classic accoutrement that you'd have on a charcuterie board. But instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pile up some of the fried food right here. And here's, here's our fried pickles, or as we like to call them, pickle nickels. I can't stop saying pickle nickel, I don't know why. And then, we're gonna go back in, we're gonna get our mushrooms, and we'll just pop our mushrooms in another row back here. And this way, like, we'll kinda of keep all the fried food together like this, and you can pile these up on top of each other, which is nice. And you know, when you have the cheese and you have the fried food, it's kind of a nice um, counterbalance because uh, it gives you a little texture. You know, there's a little bit of crunch there. Now, these fried curds, these are really cool. These are those uh, Wisconsin fries uh, cheese curd. And you know, what's fun about these, if you nail it just right before you serve them, 
it's almost like a mozzarella stick, but they just have a, a, a little bit more unique flavor. Um, they hold up really well to air frying, as you can see here. And um, they're, they're really kind of cool. And I think like when people see them fried, it's, it's a bit surprising. So it's always like good when you have a charcuterie board, especially if my friend Amy Block is watching. She makes epic charcuterie boards. Uh, we were at my other friend's house last week, my, my friend Paul and Maria. They had a charcuterie board that was, I, I'm, I swear I could sit on it and, and row it down a river. It was that big. It was the coolest gigantic thing I ever saw. So listen, everybody's into making epic charcuterie boards and why not make them with some fried food in your PowerXL air fryer. So um, Max, who's out there? I'm gonna have a cheese curd. Uh, Adam M says that sauce does look really good. Oh, the sauce. I forgot the sauce. We're Adam using... Melvin says, yes, pound that food with flavor. <laughs> that's my favorite, that's my favorite saying. I love to pound food with flavor. Who was that, Adam Melvin you said? Yeah. Awesome. Look at this, what do you think? Now, um, Max, I doubt, Max, you might like this. We should try one. I'm putting you on the spot. Oh, I actually do like that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, very good. All right. <laughs> well, you guys, listen, that's, that's all for us today. I hope that you will make some fried, air fried food for your charcuterie board. It's surprising, it's fun, it's a great way to add, you know, things to your cheese and your meat. I can show you how to make this one day. This is just some salami that you put and, and turn it into a little rose, uh, which is fun. Just, just some fun different ways to present your cheese board, charcuterie board, whatever you want to call it. I call it snacks that are really good. And um, I hope that you guys will join me next week, uh, Thursday, 4 o'clock. Uh, what are we doing? Oh. It's got something to do with apples. So if you like apples, I hope you'll be there. And if you don't like apples, I hope you join us anyway. So please share the post. Your friends will uh, appreciate it because maybe they want to try some fried cheese curds and some fried pickle nickels and uh, put those on their charcuterie board. See you next time.